think I'm significantly shorter than everyone else here. Okay. Um, so I go to Mexico every summer, and so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about that. So when someone first proposed that I speak at uh, Ignite Boulder, I was like, okay, you guys are locos, out of your mind, cuckoo, because the most exciting thing in my life is chemistry. Um, and then I realized, actually, I have some interesting stories. Um, the first time I went to Mexico, I was indeed acting as a smuggler. Not a smuggler of drugs, but of glasses. And unfortunately, we uh, got caught because all of the eyeglasses ended up in our car and we got searched. Um, so this is actually a picture of our van getting searched. They weren't very happy with us, but they let us go. This was my first run-in with the Mexican army, but it was not my last. Hello, I am Leela. I am the youngest speaker here at Ignite Boulder, and this is how drug smuggling and a run-in with the Mexican army helped me ace Spanish class. So the next logical question is, Leela, why were you smuggling eyeglasses into Mexico? The answer is simple. Erfanos. Say that with me, Erfanos. It means orphans. There's a small orphanage outside of um, Chihuahua City um, that has about 60 orphans, and it houses them from infancy into adulthood. Um, and it is for these children that I continue returning. It is for these young boys who are my heart and my soul and my passion that I would do next to anything for, including being stopped on the highway and searched for drugs. Not once, may I say, but twice on multiple occasions. And those guns are freaking intimidating. <laughs> like, no joke, intimidating. Um, fortunately, I've used these experiences to expand my depth of Spanish knowledge. For example, translation for trunk, as in open your trunk, is maletero. Very good. Now, this is not to be confused with an elephant trunk. Because an elephant trunk, which is trompa, um, is something that you will never need to know unless you are traveling in a circus. So you guys really didn't have to say that one with me. Anyways, the first time we were mistaken for drug smugglers, uh, I was clueless, I admit. I had no idea what, what was going on. So I started to study harder, thinking, you know, I'm going to be able to handle this just in case. And just in case came, <laughs> as it always does. Um, except this time, I was supposed to be acting as translator. And I realized that no amount of studying could turn my uh, um, into comprehensible speech. <laughs> but... <laughs> I did make some improvements. Um, for example, I was able to understand what he was saying to me and able to say, no, sir, there are no drugs in my underwear. <laughs> As it turns out, there are some situations that you can never study enough for. For example, talking to hot boys. <laughs> or talking to soldiers with rifles. <laughs> Um, this is where a little thing called experience has to take over, and I will confess to you here and now that I was able to pass a proficiency exam better than a lot of my native Spanish-speaking peers because of experience, not studying. But is this really about good test scores? No. This is about these two beautiful little girls and getting to sing songs about sapos or toads um, with Mariela and Maria. This is about giving two-year-olds serpentinas, which, by the way, means streamers, not serpents, because it would be cruel to give two-year-olds serpents. <laughs> it is about watching little boys bailar, which means to dance, um, with some contemporary wrestling moves thrown in because, well, they're boys. And now to get a little cheesy on you, it is mostly about getting in there and living life. It is about learning to see beyond borders and languages and races, and it is about sharing our joys and our sorrows and maybe making the world a better place. 
Orphans are my heart and my soul because I believe that I can make a difference in their lives. So do what you love to make a difference in somebody else's life. Here is to changing lives and cheesy endings. <laughs>